What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so... Today's the day. Today's the day where you guys get to talk a little crap on me because, well, you know what? We need to move this walkthrough a little quickly. We want to get to Pokemon Platinum. This is purely for where to find these Pokemon. And uh, just so you guys can see what the leveling is. I mean, in a regular world, I would easily catch these Pokemon, but I have no time for this. We want to get to Pokemon Platinum, as many of you guys already know. So, anywho, in this episode, we're going to be capturing the three legendary Pokemon of Hoenn. That happens to be Rayquaza, Groudon, and Kyogre. You could have easily caught Rayquaza right after the events of Sutopolis, but I chose to just leave it off for this, you know, second to last episode because, well, yeah. You know, getting Rayquaza, battling the Elite Four with this one Pokemon, mind you, it, it, it's just going to be cheating and all that stuff. So I'm leaving it off right here. So what we're going to do first is we're going to capture both Groudon and Kyogre. What you need to do is you guys need to fly over to the Weather Institute because that's the place where they're going to let you know where these guys are. Now, as I said in the last episode, I did trade three Pokemon from specific versions, Pokemon Leaf Green, Fire Red, and Sapphire, just so I can get these three Master Balls because, well, shoot, I kind of used the Ruby version and Sapphire version for something else, you know, the other legendary Pokemon. So, yes, we got three Master Balls ready for these Pokemon, and I am telling you this right now, these Pokemon are super powerful. Now, what you need to do is go into the Weather Institute and go to the second floor, and from there, you're going to be uh, talking to the same guy that you saved before in the events of the Team Aqua Takeover, and he's going to be telling you a little something something right here. So just find him right up here, and he's going to be like, a, uh, I track weather patterns over the Hoenn region. Presently, a drought has been recorded in Route 114. That could mean somewhere near Route 114... whatever. Okay, so what we need to do now is we're going to be going straight to Route 114. There like we're gonna start off with Groudon there have been a few places here in Pokemon Emerald that you know are a little bit different than Sapphire and Ruby and that is that you know there's a slabs of stones you know part somewhere now route 114 happens to be right over right over here somewhere where the heck are you oh oh would you look at that it is next to Fall Arbor Town Wow, what a what a coincidence. So I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna go straight to Route 114. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Fall Arbor Town, and well, what we need to do now is go straight to Route 114, and as you guys can see, the area's flashing. That means that it, there's a drought, well, there's a drought being caused. Now, as I said in the last, uh, well, a few episodes, or a few uh, moments ago, the there happens to be a few changes in the landscape going into you know the Hoenn region here as you guys can see that is new right there you never thought that you would actually find an open an open crater right here so what you need to do now is go in here and from there you're going to be in the Terra cave now in my situation the Terra cave have to happen to be here in route 114 but in other games, such as, you know, like in, in other, well, not other games, but in Pokemon Emerald, it could be anywhere where you see large slabs of, t of stone. I just happened to get this one right here, and well, we're going to be looking for this little sucker right here, and well, it is open. As you guys can see, it is uh, nice and foggy, and uh, someone's nearby right here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Kyogre's right there. Would you look at that? And he's going to be walking straight towards us. And he's gonna be like, so we meet again. Oh my god, I hate these Pokemon. So here it is, guys. Level 70, Groudon. Yeah, this Pokemon is no joke, and it does have a good move or an ability called Drought. This right here messes you up if you're a Water-type Pokemon. If you're an Ice-type Pokemon, it is something else. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just battle it just a bit and just show you what exactly it has. And look at that, we paralyzed this Pokemon, and here comes its Solar Beam. So that right there, right off the bat, it just messes you up because Drought basically 
it's basically a sunny day. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do this. And there's a fire blast. It increases its, uh, basically increasing its fire type attack. And it does have rest, as you guys can see. Rest basically puts it asleep. So that's, a, that's one of the ways that you can actually take advantage of it. But all these uh, legendary Pokemon that you're going to be facing have rest. And they will try and make it a little bit difficult for you. As you guys can see, I'm just, you know, I'm throwing a Dragon Breath. And there it is. It woke up. And it's going to use Solar Beam. So, like I said early on, guys, I did get three Master Balls from three versions. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tossing a, uh, tossing a Master Ball to this Pokemon. Because, well, screw it. We hit it one more time. It faints. We won't be able to get it back. And I don't think it wants to rest. So, there it is. We caught ourselves Groudon. Bam! Alrighty. Okay, so Groudon, as you guys can see, is the continent Pokemon. You can only get this Pokemon in Pokemon Ruby or in Emerald. And in Pokemon Ruby, it is at level 40. Here in Emerald, it's going to be maxed out to level 70, one of the most powerful Pokemon out here. And, well, Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of land. It sleeps in magma underground, and it's said to make volcanoes erupt when awakening. Obviously, this Pokemon becomes a lot cooler when Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire stop, uh, you know, make their way. So if you guys want to check that out, I do have a Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough with this whole thing. That way you guys can see what kind of an upgrade it does. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to the Weather Institute because we need to go find our good old buddy uh, Kyogre. So after doing that, nothing else happens. And, uh, well, we just need to get the heck out of here. And this little crevice, or this cra this cave, I should say, is going to be gone forever because, well, there's no more Kyogres or Groudons. Wow, why do I get those two mixed up? So let's go ahead and step outside. And just like that, the intense sunshine appears to have subsided and everything is back to normal. So I'm going to go back to the Weather Institute, guys, and we're going to see where good old Kyogre is located. All right, so we're back in the Weather Institute. Now we need to talk to this guy. He's going to say the same thing, except this time he's going to be like, Presently, heavy rainfall has been recorded over Route 129. Could that mean somewhere near Route 129? That doesn't mean that it's, you know, at Route 129. It's somewhere near, as you guys probably already noticed. Now we're going to go into the, we're going to go into the uh, Pokenab, and we're going to be going into Route 129, and obviously it's probably going to be somewhere around the ocean. And, yeah, as I thought, it's going to be right around here next to Evergrande City. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to be fast-forwarding to the location. In this particular, you know, situation right here, you're going to need a Pokemon that knows Dive because, well, yeah, this Pokemon's going to be underwater and all that stuff. So I'll be right back with, with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so actually, let's go ahead and use a Repel first before we say that. Alrighty, guys. So here we are, Route 128. We're gonna be f uh, we're gonna be going a little bit further than that, going into Route 129. And if we have to happen to battle a Pokemon trainer here and there, then that's my fault. Now, the biggest indicator of locating Kyogre is obviously this big old rainstorm. So what you need to do now is find an odd uh, spot where you know these dive spots are. Like you have to find an odd space where it's located. Right here, since it's in the in the in the well in the the water, it's gonna be very hard to find. But as you guys can see, here it is. What we need to do now is oh wow, we don't have dive for this Pokemon. Holy crud! I have uh, let's see, hold on. I need to teach this Pokemon something. So dive. Let's give that to Whale Lord right here. And Whale Lord. Actually, let, let's let's see. We got a Tentacruel on our crap it. Okay, so never mind. Okay, so. There's the spot. All we need to do now is go ahead and dive. And from here, you're going to be finding an odd location of, you know, rocks and all that crap. And, well, our repel has worn off. You're not going to be getting attacked by any Pokemon. And all you need to do now is press B and go all the way back up. And here we are in the Marine Cave. Again, these locations vary. This could the, the marine cave could be located next to the shoal cave, 
or in just some other random location away from like the eastern portion of Hoenn. So what was going to happen is, going to go in here, and look at that, smoky area. We are looking for our good old buddy, Kyogre. And, well, there it is, sleeping, waiting for us, it's been waiting for us. Okay, so here it is, Kyogre. And just like last time, it's at level 70. This Pokemon is buffed up, it is stacked, it is a monster, and its ability, Drizzle, will make sure that this Pokemon's attack are a little bit more effective and all that crud. Oh my god, okay, so as always, we're going to be hitting it with a Dragon Breath because we're faster. We're probably going to get hit with an Ice-type attack, I'll tell you what. And, um, yeah. Like I said before, guys, we're going to capture these Pokemon with the uh, Master Balls because, well, shoot, it's not worth the hassle. They all have Rest. Here's Sheer Cold. That is a one-hit KO kind of move, so you guys got to move quickly when it comes to this. And, uh, like I said, well, did I mention Rest? Yeah, they like to Rest just to make it difficult for you guys. It's a critical hit. Here we go. Kyogre is paralyzed. And Sheer Cold spares me one last time. Again, Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO in and one hit KO move so yeah we're gonna try and uh, do this and there it is sheer cold hits us one out of five and uh, well there it is one hit KO okay so that right there kind of messes us up a little so let's go to Waylord you know just because it's bulky bigger and you know all that stuff and, uh, well, here we go again with a little more rain and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, we're not going to do anything like that. Let's go right ahead and uh, try test our luck right here. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. And as you guys can see, oh, wow. Okay, so it has double edge. That right there is going to, f yeah, it's going to mess you up. So let's go with a Master Ball because, uh, yeah, we don't want that to happen. So here it is, guys. Master Ball onto Kyogre. Again, it does have uh, it does have a <laughs> double edge just to just to just to throw a big middle finger at you. You will be trying to capture this Pokemon plenty of times. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves Kyogre, the Sea Basin Pokemon. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Sapphire, this Pokemon will be at level 45, just like Groudon. It's at 40. My bad. So Kyogre here in Emerald is at level 70. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. Oh, well, you don't say. Yeah, we're not nicknaming this Pokemon. This guy's going straight to our PC, and uh, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny that it would choose the location it's at because we are close to Rayquaza, and that is the last Pokemon we need to actually capture. The only messed up part about this is... Uh, yeah, the, the, the messed up part about this whole situation is that Rayquaza, you're going to need an acro bike in order to get through this whole location, and it's just messed up. That, this is the reason why we're going with Master Balls, guys, because uh, F that. I'm not going to struggle. I remember as a kid going playing Pokemon Sapphire, like, after defeating the whole game, thinking that, you know, no Regis existed and all that stuff, and no extra Pokemon existed. Yeah. I actually thought, like... When I first discovered it, it took me forever to get up the Sky Pillar, and then after that, capture this Pokemon. So yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a bit of a doozy. So I'll be right back with you guys when we're ready to go. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in Pacificlog Town, and the next place we have to go to is close to Route 129 ish, Route 131, yeah. And this is the last Pokemon that you need to capture. Obviously, you can still capture this Pokemon. Uh, in Pokemon Emerald, you can capture this Pokemon early. In Ruby and Sapphire, this is the last guy you need to go for. And as I mentioned before, when I first discovered this Pokemon, when I because you know you had to ask permission for for what was it called uh, for the internet. I didn't have the 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 what you call it. Uh, I didn't have the handbooks or anything. When I found this out and I saw that there was a Pokemon right here, holy buckets! It was amazing. Now. In Pokemon Emerald, this is your second visit. You're gonna be seeing some boulders, some rocks around here. It's not gonna be as easy as it was, because then you're gonna have you're gonna be having some cracks right here. This is where the mock bike comes in. And like I said before, guys, it took me forever and a day just to get through this whole area because, well, shoot, the mock bike. 
Especially the the puzzle locations where it wants me to go through. Yeah, that one right there was a bit of a doozy, so yeah, you see? You need a, you need two steps. So I'll be right back with you guys when we get to the final portion of this place. Oh my god, I hate this place. So as you guys can see, we finally made it to the towards the very end. Now it's this right here, this bottom portion that really messes you up because I believe the entrance is right here. And, uh, yeah, you, you guys didn't want to see me struggle or anything, but here we are towards the very end of the Sky Pillar, and towards the very end right here, the very top floor, second to last floor, yeah, it's gonna be easy. And bam, you're at the very top, the repel has worn off, you should have seen how many repels I wore, and well, there he is. When I first located this guy, I was like in awe because, holy buckets. This guy was amazing to see, especially in Ruby and Sapphire where it's at level 70. It's just like, oh wow, that's an automatic win right there. Eventually in Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, you're going to be seeing some just like messed up stuff with this Pokemon. It's like OP, like nobody else's business. So let's go right ahead and get Rayquaza right here. He's been waiting for us. The champ is here against this guy. Holy crud, the graphics are pretty good. Look at this. A level 70 Rayquaza. Fast as you know what. And very difficult to capture. Very, very difficult. Only, like, one YouTuber that I've noticed has ever gotten this Pokemon as a shiny. And that happens to be good old Luroy. I don't know how he did it. I don't know. Some people say he cheated. I don't necessarily think so. But yes, you can get these Pokemon to... You know, to, 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 to be shinies and all that stuff. So, what's going to happen is I am going to fly because I don't need any of that mesh right there. And here comes a fly attack from Rayquaza. Here comes Hadouken messing this Pokemon up. And, oh, nearly. Oh, wow. Okay, so could this be the Pokemon I don't capture with the Master Ball? Let's go ahead and see. Come on. Let's go. Ultra Ball. Let's go, baby. One, two... Oh my god, I, <laughs> I was about to say, I captured this guy! Alright, extreme speed is gonna mess us up. Alright, let's go, Ultra Balls. Don't worry, we got, a, we got a Master Ball just in case. There's one, there's two, there's three. Oh, nearly caught him! Okay. Okay, we're gonna... I have a good feeling about this. We're gonna capture this guy with Ultra Balls. We're gonna throw the kitchen sink at it. Let's go, one. Damn it! Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, so I completely forgot that it does have rest, so that is going to make it difficult for this Pokemon to capture, so yeah. We're hoping we don't make this Pokemon faint, and that takes, yeah, it takes a lot. Okay. You know what? Let's go right ahead and, let's see, let's go with a Great Ball just so we can wake up and all that stuff, and go ahead, and it's flying high, so we're going to fly high too. And, wow, this Pokemon using Outrage, one of the most powerful Dragon-type moves. And just like that, messes up Hadouken. So that means that, yes, we're going to have to try and capture this Pokemon with with a, with a uh, what was it called, a Master Ball. I tried, guys, I tried, but this Pokemon dishes it out. So Rayquaza has Outrage, Rest, Fly, and I don't know what the other move is, but it's freaking, oh, an Extreme Speed. So if this is the Pokemon you need on your stuff, then yeah, go right ahead and capture this guy early on into the game. And there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Rayquaza. This Pokemon is a tank. And in all three games, it's at level 70. As you guys can see, Rayquaza is the Sky High Pokemon, a Pokemon that flies endlessly in the ozone layer. It is said that it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to fight, which is true. Very, 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 very true. So, yeah, we're not going to be nicknaming this Pokemon. It's going to be sent to the Pokemon Center. Or, yeah, it's going to be sent to the Pokemon Center. And, uh, well, what's going to happen next is we're going to be taking a look at our new, our new Pokemon right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here it is. Groudon, the pure ground-type Pokemon. Its ability, Drought. Summon sunlight in the battle and does have a serious nature, level 70. As you guys can see, this Pokemon is a physical specimen because, you know, its physicality is just physical. Yes, I said physical three times. And look at this. Its, attack, uh, it's attacks are pretty cool. Fire Blast, Rest, Fissure, you know, that one-hit KO thing. And Solar Beam. Now, looking into the next Pokemon, that happens to be Kyogre. 
the water type Pokemon it summons rain in battle and it is very very careful that's right and well as you guys can see it's a special attacker and these are its moves too hydro pump rest sheer cold and double edge and then the final Pokemon itself, Rayquaza, the Dragon and Flying type Pokemon. It does have Airlock, which basically negates weather effects. So take that, Kyogre and Groudon. And it's docile nature. This Pokemon right here is both a physical and special attacker. This guy will mess you up, especially when it Mega Evolves. Its moves, Fly, Rest, Extreme Speed, and Outrage will definitely mess you up. So... That right there, guys, is how you can capture all three legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald. Like I said before, guys, want to get to Pokemon Platinum. I could care less what, you know, many people say. Oh, no, you went to the other versions to get Master Balls. That's not fair. Well, I tried. I literally almost tried to capture this Pokemon with an Ultra Ball. Almost did it. Failed. So that's why we got the Master Ball right there. Anywho, in the next episode, guys, it will be the final episode the conclusion to this walkthrough right here, and that is we're going to be battling Steven Stone as we get to the Battle Frontier. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as possible. I got merch. Yes, I got a merch sale and all that stuff. Yes. If you guys want to support the channel by buying some merch and all that stuff, it's right down there. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.